So the kids tell the grandparents about the egg. The grandparents say a bird lady down the way might know what kind of egg it is, so they decide to go there. Forgiveness, we seem to have entered Edward Scissorhands Jurassic Flick a Park. Barney? 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 Don't worry, one of many friendly bears is ripping my insides out. I'm so happy I can and will die. Whoa, this bird lady has a wicked stash! No wonder everyone's happy all the time if they have these secondhand smells next door. People from all over the world send her birds that are sick. <laughs> and once I help them get well, most of them want to stay. Some call it kidnapping, I call it relocating their souls. Jesus, if Pee Wee Herman had a birdhouse, it'd be a conservative church compared to this. This is my library. Forgive me, I pulled a muscle and now my face is stuck like this. Oh, what first nightmare my future will be. Well, if we want to find out, we've surely found Rah! the right Call the police. She touches me in wrong places. Rah! And we wonder what's inside it. They sing a song about hatching the egg and apparently the movie's so bored they count reading as a musical number. Using your imagination, kids, you can imagine this being more entertaining. <laughs> what does this thing have to do with studying birds? Whoa, the egg adds a different color stripe as they can't figure out what kind of animal could be inside. Thank God film was used to capture that. They find a book that has a picture of the egg on the cover and it says there's a dream maker inside. Every thousand years or so, an egg falls from the skies. For boys and girls around the world, for children everywhere. Science. They say when the egg's rings all light up, it has to be back to where it landed in order for it to hatch. But Cody accidentally knocks it on the bird seat truck and it drives off with it. Barney, this is serious. Stop smiling. I think I have an idea. Oh, great. <laughs> The birdseed deliverer drives off while making an ice cream shake with a machine built into his truck. I am way too okay with this thing existing in most vehicles. While doing that though, he accidentally drives into the Apple Festival Parade with Barney following. How did that happen? I've seen actual square peg fit into round holes easier than what you did there. Hey Barney, last time to see you. Hey, good to see you. Oh my. Yes, you have to know the Barney mythos in order to follow that. They find the egg in the middle of the parade, which thank God is positioned in the middle of a bizarrely egg-needing song number. Seriously, that egg must have showed up to rehearsals. The egg gets launched and is caught by a character named BJ. Well, he's gonna have a lot of fun in school. BJ, yeah! <laughs> it gets lost again though, and they follow it into a restaurant. We have a strict no craft macaroni and cheese mascots in this establishment. Barney creates a distraction so they can go looking for the egg without anyone noticing. And as you can see, it's working great. I'm so wondering that would be. That dude's looking like. I had no idea purple dinosaurs were my fetish! My life is made and destroyed at the same time. Hey kids, still learning to read? Have fun with this. Barney knows French. Why is that the weirdest thing to me in this movie? The restaurant tells them that they sent the egg to the circus as they assumed it was a joke from them. You know circus is sending eggs to random restaurants. Barney says it's a thing! <laughs> the egg at the circus and hide inside during a storm. And just in time, as it appears the editor is so anxious to end the stinker, he starts cutting off Barney's dialogue. When the rain stops, we can look around some more, and then maybe we can find it. We already looked around. Yeah, that wasn't me. It was edited that way. And then maybe we can find it. We already looked around. You don't even want to find it. No, don't play the rest of that clip. We're going to address this. The actual actor of Barney runs a business. You are every flavor of welcome for that. And just in case you thought Barney couldn't pull off serious moments, here's proof that you're right. No.
Not since Citizen Kane said Rosebud and walked quietly down an endless abyss of mirrors, with only himself staring back has a moment of silent reflection been so beautifully captured. Or it just looks like an awkward smiling Chuck E. Cheese performer lost outside the arcade. We'll solve the situation with our imagination. We're gonna find a way. We're super deep. Even the kids are done with this. Just run Clifford the dog and we'll call it a day. Because the kids are sheep, they give in to the madness, but not before a little Barney R&B, though. <laughs> Nailed that demographic. They go outside to continue looking for the egg, and wow, Barney should never be shot from that angle. Oh my god, this purple meth just kicked in, and you're looking like Willy Wonka painted over Jack Skellington, man! Meth, kids! Meth! <laughs> Clear over that way! By the balloon! They're told the egg is by the incredibly timeless balloon effects as somebody is taking it up with them. Now we're never gonna get it back in time. It's gonna take some imagination. Right, Barney? I don't recall ever working that into my rhetoric. Did you really say imagination? <laughs> well, yeah, it's been kind of an unusual day, okay? Cody's my spirit animal. They get on board a log and try to pretend it's a plane. I think we need your help. I'd like you to pretend that we can really fly. Nope. No, of course they start flying because this movie's rigged and they try to make it to the balloon with the egg. Yeah, can you imagine a higher effects budget when you get a chance? Elf Bowling is looking like Frozen 2 compared to this. They come across the guy who has it and let's see if his accent is just as subtle as his mugging. See, I traveled all over the world collecting things. This is the most beautiful egg I've ever seen. Subtler. They catch the egg and fly back home where the grandparents see them playing. I'd like you to meet a friend of ours, Barney the Dinosaur. Hey! Hey! Stand back! I saw this guy on To Catch a Predator! Someone let Chris Hansen out of jail and put this guy in his place! Look out the wall! BJ also joins the gang. Hi guys! Was that cool or what? That's a hard what. The last ring lights up, and they put the egg back in the farm where it hatches. Oh, it's so disappointing. Like the villain from Rainbow Bright made it with an Ewok. An impossible love meant to stay impossible. He's trying to tell it to stay. Twinklin. <laughs> what did you say? Twinkin? Twinklin. Yeah. Twinkin. It sounds like a Winnie the Pooh prostitute. We really shouldn't dictate its life choices early. It shows their dreams and visions because magic, I guess, as Cody reveals he was a doofus for not appreciating Barney earlier. No, don't give in to the dark side! I was a big doofus before, and I think you're pretty cool. Enough to accept years of school bullying for taking on this role. God, I hope this is a good paycheck. Twinkit flies away and apparently shows what Barney's dream is. It's a special time, a special place, and sharing it all with the people I love. <laughs> or he exploded! Maybe his lifespan was only a few minutes. I don't know. Dreams. Of course they sing I love you, you love me as they enjoy being one big happy family with the parents nowhere in sight. The film even ends by making it clear no dinosaurs were harmed during the making of this film. No, thankfully they've been dead for millions of years before any real damage could befall them. Barney's Great Adventure is as annoying and pointless as you would think, but for little little kids it's not doing any wrong. It has no charm, but it has no bad messages either, apart from just believe hard enough and you can fly. Okay, that can easily be taken the wrong way, but I've yet to see any injuries from it. Barney won't last like many other great media for little children, but as fads go, there are worst ones. This one was just an easy target, and you can see why. Is it awful? No. Is it good? No. It's just a waste of time for little kids to forget about shortly after. Is it better to show them something with more emotional connections as much as informational connections? Absolutely. But I can't see this doing anyone any harm, just getting on people's nerves. A cinematic misdemeanor in my book, but still an annoying one, to say the least. Maybe Barney would have turned out better if he actually had a good sense of humor.
Before I go YouTube, here's a picture that will make you laugh just for you, just for, you know, Instagram. Love you, Tom Holland and Chris Pratt. And the dinosaur could use help too. Oh! 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 He's a nostalgia critic, and he's gonna remember that. Say, Mick, can we go by to go get some Subway? Not right now, Goofy.